Alrighty guys, let me uh, walk you through the process of taking your bubble car design and exporting that to the vCarve Pro software. Um, vCarve is a software by ShopBot that lets you take um, take a drawing and actually create tool paths and instructions for the CNC router to cut out your design. So you should have a car design that you created in Onshape. Um, what you're going to need to do is select the side profile of your car and I'm going to rotate around so I'm just looking at that side profile. If you right click that um, there's an option here to export to a drawing file, a DXF or a DWG. That's what we're going to need to send to the vCar software. So there's my uh, car, DWG will work fine. Um, I'm going to export that. That should save a file uh, for me. So let's put that in the downloads folder. Um, and then I can import it over here in vCarve. So this is going to be kind of a quick overview of how to use vCarve. Um, later on in this pathway, we will dig into the details of CNC and computer-aided manufacturing. Uh, but this is a good, uh, good, good little introduction to the process. So this should be installed on most of the desktop computers in the lab. Uh, when you open up the vCarve Pro software, uh, you'll need to create a new file couple options we need to set here. Um, 36 and 24 inches are the maximum size you can cut. Uh, this can be a little better to set this to the actual size of the object we're trying to cut. And if you remember the dimensions we specified were 6 inches wide and 4 inches tall. So your car design should be nominally a 4 by 6. Uh, now we also need to think about cutting this out out of an actual piece of wood. Um, I'm using some thick uh, reclaimed construction lumber that is 1.6 inches thick. So that's going to be the thickness of my material. Uh, this XY datum position, this is just what the starting point of the router is going to be. Uh, based on how I have my router set up, uh, I use this top left corner as my reference point. That's, that's the easiest point to work from. Um, so that looks good to me. I'm going to click OK. And now I've got a blank space to work with my design. Um, so to get your uh, car design into vCarve. Uh, if you go up to File, go down to Import, we want to import vectors. Uh, DWG is a vector drawing format. I believe that saved that to the Downloads folder. So there's my file. I'm going to open that up. Um, now, I, I will admit vCarve is not the most user-friendly software. vCarve is a, a type of CAD software that's geared towards what are called vector drawings using lines and curves and shapes and text. And it works real well for that, um, but it's a little hard to use if you've got like actual specific dimensions that you need to work with. That's where a mechanical CAD tool like Onshape comes in uh, pretty handy. Uh, but I need to move this to my actual build service. I'll have to click the profile and then click again to drag that into uh, my work area. Now, one thing you want to check, if you click this profile, if it's in separate pieces, we need to join these pieces together. So I have one complete profile going all the way around my design that I can use to, to cut that profile out. Um, so over here, you'll see all the different um, tools available to you. There's lots of tools for creating shapes itself. So if you decide you want to add another like circle for a window or, you know, rectangle, whatever, um, you've got access to those tools. If you want to add some text, your name, roam high, uh, the text tools work really well to do that. Um, but what I need to do right now is shift click all these pieces, make sure I've got all the po entire profile selected, go down here to join open vectors, click join, and that'll connect this together into one uh, complete vector. And I believe all these circles should be, yeah, handles those pretty well. All right, um, so that is just setting this up. Um, We've got this file. Now we need to create what are called tool paths, our instructions for uh, for the CNC router to actually cut this out. And if you look over on the uh, top right, there should be a little tab here that says tool paths. I'm going to pin this so it stays open. Um, let me recenter things just a little bit. Um, and these are tools for actually creating instructions for the CNC router to move around and cut things out of a piece of wood, metal, acrylic, whatever material you're working with. Uh, so, the profile, this outside edge here, I need, I'm going to click that and I'm going to create a profile toolpath. Uh, so, a couple of settings here that we need to worry about. 
Um, start depth, that's just going to be the top of the material, so that's zero inches. We need to specify how deep we're going to cut. And again, that's going to depend on what the material is that you're working for. Uh, for this profile, we want to cut all the way through the material, so we're cutting out the actual body of the car. So I want to make sure this is set to, uh, I believe 1.6 is what I use for the thickness of the material. Uh, next thing we need to do is select the cutting tool that we're going to use. Um, so I'm going to click select here. There's a whole bunch of uh, settings here. There's a bunch of tools that we can work with. I've got most of these tools available, um, at least for the basic set and the wooden plastic bits. Um, what we're going to need is an end mill, a 0.375 inch end mill um, that has a pass depth of 0.5. Um, so that, that tool should be set up already over there on the shop bot when we get over there to cut. Um, and an end mill is just a straight drill bit. Um, it's got what are called flutes, those little curvy, cutty things. Uh, that'll serve to push out uh, the sawdust as it cuts through uh, the material. Now I'm cutting a thick piece of wood. 1.6 inches is a, is a th good thick piece of wood. Uh, so I'm using a bit that is 3 eighths of an inch thick, 0.375 inches uh, in diameter. So what that means is 0.375 inches, 3 eighths of an inch, is uh, going to kind of govern the resolution that I can cut with. It's a, it's a big bit, so I can't really cut small things. That's going to come into play um, here in a little bit. But for right now, I'm just going to actually... Yeah. Um, so for right now, I'm going to cut that profile. I'm going to cut on the outside edge here, so I'm not messing up what's inside. don't need to worry about that. I do need to worry about tabs. Uh, tabs are uh, something that's going to help hold the body of the car to the rest of the material after we've cut all the way through. Um, so I think 0.5 by 0.5 works pretty well for this thick wood. Um, now those tabs are something that we'll have to go in and, and cut out by hand at a later point using a jigsaw or a, um, a handsaw. I need to go to edit tabs. Uh, four tabs should work pretty well for something with a sort of rectangular uh, overshape. Um, click Add Tabs. You just want to be careful that these tabs are not sitting in a corner that's going to be hard to cut out. Like this guy here, I'm going to move him out towards the edge a little bit, so I'm not trying to get a jigsaw or a saw in this curvy corner. Um, that looks good to me. Click OK. Um, you can name that something interesting if you want to. Uh, click Calculate. And uh, that's going to calculate the actual path that the cutting tool is going to travel. And that's what you're seeing here with the red, green, and blue lines. Um, red, the red line is where uh, the bit's moving without cutting. The green line where it is where it's moving up and down. And the blue line where it is where the bit is actually going to spin around and start cutting stuff out. You can see where these tabs are going to be. It looks like it's making three passes around, four passes around. Um, if you go up here to preview selected tool path, it'll actually mimic what the uh, cutting bit is going to do. And that's the profile that we're cutting out. And you can see these tabs here that are going to hold things together. Um, that's what we'll cut out by hand. And that'll, that'll be pretty easy to do. Um, so there I've got the profile of the body of my car. Um, I'm going to go back here, close this preview menu, uh, and I'm going to cut out holes for uh, these, these smaller guys. Now, here's where i got a slight problem with uh, the bit I'm using. Um, these smaller holes are a quarter inch in diameter, which means that that three-eighths inch bit is not going to be able to cut those out. So I'm actually going to leave those off of my uh, uh, CNC cutting tool pass uh, and, cut, and uh, drill those out with the drill bit. But I'm going to select these uh, bigger circles here that are bigger than the bit that I'm cutting with. And I'm going to you think about what I want to do. I want to cut out all the material inside these circles. That's what's called a pocket, uh, and there is a pocket toolpath. So I'm going to select the pocket toolpath. Again, I'm going to go all the way through, so I'm going to set my depth to uh, 1.6. I'm going to select uh, my end mill here. I don't have any tabs to worry about because I'm just cutting out material. There's nothing loose that's going to be uh, running around there. Click Calculate, um, go ahead and preview that tool path, and that is uh, what the CNC router is going to cut out.
So we are almost done with our setup here. I'm going to close this. The last thing we need to do is to export this file to a file that the ShopBot understands. And there's an option here uh, for Save Toolpath. Um, I'm going to select uh, all my toolpaths here. So I'll, uh, I'll put all visible toolpaths to one file. And since they're cutting with the same bit, that's an easy thing to do. I could, if um, you wanted to, go through the process of swapping out the bits and put a smaller bit in to cut those smaller holes. But that's such a time-consuming process that doing this for a bunch of cars is going to be a little bit uh, limiting. So again, I'm just going to do that with the drill bit uh, on the drill press. But um, if I've got both my tool paths selected, they got the correct 3.75 inch end mill selected. Uh, save tool pass the file. And if I, you got this saved, uh, we can pull this up on the ShopBot software and cut out your profile. Uh, easy enough to do. I will say there are other toolpath options you may want to explore. Um, the drilling toolpath, uh, inlay and engraving. This V-carve engraving toolpath works fantastic for text. It uses a V-bit uh, to cut out text. Um, if you've got a 3D object, you can set up a 3D object to actually uh, finish and engrave the 3D object in your piece of wood. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this software once you've got a good CAD model to work with. So try setting up your own design. Uh, when you think you got this worked out, let me know and I will walk you through how to use the ShopBot.